So a lot of people that get caught carrying a knife, they're not carrying a knife with intent to hurt someone. They're carrying a knife because it makes them feel that they're going to be safe. That's how I started off. Okay, I got beaten up really badly. They, they took my, they took my trainers, and I, was, I bought them myself. They took my bike, and I thought, right, not again. Next time, I'm going to carry a knife, and if someone approaches me, I'm just going to hold it out. All right, it doesn't help. Because the problem with that is, although you're thinking it might protect you, what if they have a bigger knife than you? What if they have a gun? And what if you accidentally stab that person? I've a hard-hitting message for Isle of Wight school children from someone who knows. Hampshire police invited Omar Sharif, a former gang member who's turned his life around, to talk to youngsters about the reality of knife crime and the threat of being targeted by drugs dealers. Young people can be vulnerable, they can be targeted, they can be used to, uh, by people that want to sell drugs, by people that want to get involved in criminality, and they can be exploited. And, and what we don't want to do is we don't want to allow that to happen, and the best way we can do that is to get into schools to teach young people, to educate people. Three of Omar's friends were killed in knife-related crime while he was growing up in London. He says although the island isn't as bad as the mainland, youngsters here are under threat. There are drug problems on the island already, people are carrying knives already. They are modelling what they see on TV, what they're hearing about happening on the mainland. But whenever there's some, you know, it's a, the whole bad apple thing. Once there's one person doing it, it'll spread. So I think it's great that it's not happening on a larger scale and that's hopefully we're preventing that from happening. But I think that people are scared here because they've noticed that it is starting to happen. The assembly today, it was quite sort of eye-opening to know what really is out there because living on the island just so sort of you don't realise what you could be faced when you go to the mainland. I learnt like how important it is to like um like tell other people like about problems they might have. The kids maybe on the island are slightly more sheltered especially because we don't have these sort of things kind of breaking into everyday life for us but it's definitely started to appear in the more central areas like Newport and Ryde. Love and connection. It's all about being a good human being. And being a good human being is common sense. We know if we're doing something bad and we know if we're doing something good. All right, it's how... It's how